Original, May 22, 2017 I bought this for use with a bike rack, since the rack was too low. With this adapter, the bike rack is several inches higher and doesn't scrape the road anymore. I gave this only 4 stars because the adapter rubs the bumper on my Camry. It might not rub on other cars, it would be better if the top section, 2 inches part, was a little shorter or was angled away from the car. It'll probably grind 1 quarter of an inch to 3 eighths of an inch off the edge to fix it. See attached picture update, November 30th, 2017 I did grind the edge and it's now much better, it doesn't rub against my bumper. I finally found the one that fit on my 2018 Hyundai Sonata. Measured as stated. Results were as expected. For my cargo carrier slash bike rack only. Not for towing. Rack slash accessories only. This is perfect. Just the right dimensions for my Ford Escape and cargo carrier. Really heavy duty. Works well once tweaked for 2015 Sienna. Needed 4 lift adapter for 1. 25 receiver. On rolling driveway can bottomed out at times, and the pinhole for securing into receiver needs to be about 1 inch closer to vehicle end as this hits my Sienna bumper in the 4 adapter. I purchased a 2. 5 to 2 reducer and had it welded onto the 4 lift adapter. Staggered out from the bumper, and now it works great. See photos attached. For these tweaks I give this a 4. Easy lift on and off is nice. Just commenting so the database of what fits can grow. It does its job, I added a hitch tightener slash anti-vibration doohickey to keep down on the ratting. Product is everything that it should be and functions as it should. Unfortunately it turns out that it was too short for my Subaru Forester. I was however able to modify it to fit and serve my purpose. Had to cut the back of the 2 inch receiver the size of half of a silver dollar to clear bumper of my 2014 Kia Soul Exclaim. Also had to file ends of 1 and 1 quarter to smooth the end. I used hacksaw to get started then my hand saw to make the cut. As described in another review I cut an arc about 1 and 1 quarter height to top and back of tube. Expect the teeth to wear down on a good metal saw blade and eventually break which is a good thing. You reinsert broken blade into saw with now new teeth. Broke two blades had a stubby left over. Took me 3 hours, sitting outside. Each cut took about 3 to 5 minutes before my blade would come loose. I knew I would have to do this mod. If you can't do this, I question maybe you shouldn't pull something. I have had two motor homes and pull cars and you better be prepared for the unexpected. I got the longer 5 7 8 version to use with my Pontiac G6, with Kurt Hitch. I had made a cardboard cutout that indicated the hitch would just barely not fit and hit my bumper, I had planned to cut a little bit off the rear tip to accommodate. Luckily for me the bumper bends enough to allow the hitch to fit no problem. I put a little foam over the tip to protect the bumper a little. It seems well made, looks level 2.